So you had a dream around this stuff today, this morning? Yeah, so woke up at four in the morning and then I've drifted in and out of sleep the whole morning. And <clears throat> it must have been right in between those. So I was actually on vacation somewhere. Beautiful, you know, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> and I was I was wearing so instead of the blindfold, I had something different on. I had like I'm trying to condition myself to sort of like it's blindfolded seeing, but I'm envisioning myself also doing it with sunglasses. I didn't have my dark glasses with me, but I had something that I could almost sort of like put into the glasses. That's and so awesome. I was holding them up to my eyes like this, had everything covered, and I was looking at something solid. And I'm like, do it. It was just like, like it was all a little grayish again, you know. But it was all figures. I could see everything clearly through it. Just all again a little bit in a gray tone. And I thought, well, this is really cool. So I'm going like this. And I said, well, I gotta go show the kids, and I gotta go get my glasses so I can put these two things in it, whatever I was looking through. <laughs> you know? But I knew I was looking through something that let me th look through it. Okay. Like I was one of those really wonderful feelings of like, yeah, okay, well, it's right there. It's right there, you know, and I got to go to the rooms now. And now I'm like off trying to find these rooms, you know, okay. <laughs> where I have to go to, you know, it was a little bit of a labyrinth, but it felt really like it felt really real. Like it felt okay. like, oh, this is so great. Look at that, you know, so. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. Well, that, that's the second dream you've had around this now. Yeah. But yeah. I saw through it. And I was like, I don't, I don't, I don't remember if anybody was beside me, but I was going like this and I'm like, hey, like I can see the people over there and I can see them <laughs> over there. Like it was so cool. Like it, it felt so real. Today we've got a new exercise here and I'm holding it up in your screen. Now there's two words on the clipboard and I can tell you the word is either a three or a four letter word and my one letter just fell off one second. <laughs> It's back on there. So there's two words. One of them is a three letter word. One of them is a four letter word. And it is part of a phrase. Like you could see these two words appearing one next to each other in a sentence. Try to see all words at the same time. Each letter is separated a little bit. So you see a vertical line of brown from the clipboard between each letter. I will tell you the first word is three letters, the second word is four letters. But that's all I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna ask you now to start identifying the letters. Mm -hmm. you, can do, you can do them one at a time, or if you have two appear or three appear or even four, just blurt them out. Let go and be a passive observer. An H came by. Yes, that's correct. E? Now, yes, there's an H and there's an E. Let's go back to that dream. Be a passive observer as you were in the dream. Just be in that mind state and feel how cool that was. A? Yes. And by the way, all three of those are in the same word. That's very good. So keep going. You do have three of the four letters correct of the second word. So it's this letter remaining right here, that letter right there. Putting it in your screen. In the here and now, go out to your screen and tell me what is that letter. That's the remaining letter of the four. I'm going to also show you this word above it. There's three letters. Mm -hmm. And you can tell me any one of those letters. Okay, and what we'll do is, a, yes, there is a no. Now at this point, we're just gonna take a break. Okay. So th that was very good. That was very quick. You got the three letters of the second word fairly fast, and you got the one of the letters of the first word. Now my E has disappeared onto the floor again. Let me put it back on. <laughs> okay, so it's back up in your screen. So, there's the H, the A, and the E. And there's this letter here. And you also got the, if I remember correctly, the O above. 
Yeah. So we have this first letter here and we have this other letter here to get. So we only have three letters to go out of the seven. This letter, this one, and this one. Interesting about these three, and I will tell you about them after. There's something mm -hmm. unusual. Okay, about... a why. Yes. A why. Yes. There's the Y. There's the O. What's the third letter? U. Yes, it is. So U is the first word, Y-O-U. Now, the second word, you've gotten three of the letters, the H, the A, and the E. What is that one? That dream was given to you for a reason. It's your second mm -hmm. dream now. Even go back to the first dream you had where you were at a party and everything looked kind of gray and you were seeing. So you've had two dreams now. Your mind is trying to help you and it's showing you where things are going. You've only got is one. Well, you know what? What is close to a U, so close to a U? A V. Yeah, so lift your mask up, take it right off, because I'm going to give oh, that to God. you. So there's the letters. You have, you got the three letters of the four, like, right away, Claudia. Yeah. And then, yeah. You, then you got the O, and then, you know, it was became a little harder as time went on. It's because your mind sight was getting tired, right? Yeah. And now, when you said the U at the end, I thought, well... It's actually yeah, better, I'm glad you did. It's better to give you that because it's so close. A U and a V mm -hmm. in your mind yes. sight, they almost look the same. Exactly, and, because and, it's so. And if I tell you to keep going, then that could actually negate you from getting the V. I agree. Because you're going to get something again that looks like a U and you're going to say, no, I already said that. So mm -hmm. that's why I just gave it to you. I'm but glad you did because it, it did fly around again. You oh, know, there goes the E again. <laughs> It's like I have a haze across and yeah. then I have this white blob and I keep trying to look into the white blob and then the blob moves. Yeah. So I'm just observing of what's going on. Right. So yeah. I again. Um, yeah, you did very well. Go. You did very <laughs> well. You basically did get all the letters. You, mm -hmm. you know, a U and a V, I mean, are as close. Now, I'll tell you something interesting. Tell me. Remember, you had to get those last three letters. Mm -hmm. and, and if you notice, and my E has disappeared again, let me put it back on. But the last three letters you had to get were V, Y, and U. They yeah, are, they're all the same. They're all very similar. You mm -hmm. know, I mean, the Y is just a U, or let's even say a V with the bottom part pushed together a little bit. Okay. Yeah. And a, a V is just a U that's got the bottom pushed together a little bit. So they're, they're very similar letters. And that was yeah. the hardest part. And mm -hmm. so your mind, you know, was having trouble distinguishing, but it's interesting that those three letters are the ones that you got last. And yeah, they were very, all, all very similar. Yeah, see, and the E was very pronounced. I would say the that's H was- That's a easy was, one, right? And yeah, H. and the H, H was pronounced. Um, the Y was slightly like I kind of like I saw again that V shape, but I thought, oh, there is a there is a little line, you know, it's but so hard it's, to see that little line like a Q or an yeah. O. It's yeah. hard to see. Is there a little tick on the O, right? Mm -hmm. You know, and even a, a P and a D people confuse because. A P is just a D and the lines come down a little bit. A few times my brain was trying to figure out what the word was, yeah. but it's like I kept deferring going away from that because I'm like, I have like not even any clue, like no clue. And that's good. Like, that's what I want. Like, I don't want to, hey, what could that be? That's not the point, right? Like, yeah. I want to see what appears, you know? That's, that's why I'm like, that's... no, I said you, but I keep seeing a U. <laughs> you know? Well, and when you try to figure it out, that's all left brain, and that takes you right out of your mm -hmm. right brain. So it's better, mm -hmm. as you say, not even to try to figure it out. Just say what the letters are. Mm -hmm. But honestly, you did well. You did Thank well. Thank you.